Gloria is a little stressed out here. Our listener, Gloria, she has been dating her high school sweetheart. They're 22 now. But she just found out something about him that's a little on the disturbing side. She doesn't know if she's overreacting or not. She's come here. Hey, Gloria, good morning. Hey, how are you? Good. Thank you for calling. Okay, so what do we got going on here? Okay, so, I mean, I don't know if I'm overreacting because I've only ever been in one relationship in my life, but... I'm afraid it might be over. Hmm. What's going on? Okay. All right. Well, um, here's what happened. So I was currently, well, I am. I'm currently dating my high school sweetheart. We started dating when we were like 16 years old and we're 22 now. And our relationship has just been amazing. And it's always been easy since the start. I always thought, you know, the whole idea of, you know, when you know. Mm -hmm. And as far as I knew, we were both super happy and fulfilled just being together and like as soon as we graduated from college we moved in and have been on track to get engaged Mm. so I feel like it's going really well um but I I don't know I guess I haven't had any complaints (laughs) and he's always been like very easygoing and funny and kind and I discovered something recently and I'm just like I am shooketh. Okay. So clean slate up until this point, and now something has changed where you're looking at him differently. What happened? Exactly. Okay, so like two weeks ago, you know, we were just like chilling on the couch, scrolling through our phones, and like honestly, showing each other funny TikToks is our love language. Mm. So I (laughs) I didn't know that was one of them. It was, it's, it's, uh, it's it's the eighth, actually. It is, okay. Right next to acts of service. (laughs) Okay. Um, but yeah, so we were like, he was showing me this video that he'd seen that was really funny on Reddit. And like, I saw it, didn't think much of it. And I like clicked on the link and then I just started scrolling through the comments and I noticed a comment, um, that had just been named by like a username that I don't know, like maybe it's like women's intuition or whatever. I'm not sure, but I just like had the feeling that it was his. And the only evidence that I had was that it was his birth year and the username. Like, it didn't say his name or anything. And the comment wasn't suspicious, but I was like, okay, I have the urge to stuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. All right. It's part of your DNA. Your woman is part of your DNA. <laughs> All right. I'll, I, will, I will allow that. Um, and I was like, let me just. Let me just take a peek, and honestly, if I could untake a peek, I would, because first, I was scrolling through, and it was, you know, he had an endless comment and post history, and I was, like, a little confused, and then I got a little scared, and then I just literally excused myself to our bedroom. I was just like, hey, I'm just going to take a nap, and I just needed to, like, process everything that I was reading. And what I, was it? What, what were the disturbing comments? Well, I guess he posts on Reddit a ton, which is, you know, that's fine. But, like, the subreddit that he was posting on was, I, I mean, he was like a moderator for a men's rights subreddit. <laughs> How dare he? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. If hey, can we, you, like, if you see what's on these things, they, this it was shocking. It's, I like, I completely agree. Men do not deserve rights. So <laughs> <laughs> too late for that. So, we're, we're joking, but the <laughs> men's rights activists. It is an actual group, and it's pinpointed by the Anti Defamation League. And I've looked up the definition so I can get it right for you. But it's a broad set of male supremacist, anti feminist, misogynistic, and sometimes violent movements that exist largely online. So it's not really a talk. They don't really they talk about men's rights, but nobody is saying here like men should you know, Abby's joking, but men should have rights. But this group is known to be a violent misogynistic group mm. online oh. that is anti feminist. So their like role model might be Andrew Tate. Yeah, like they're w- kind of oh, women haters, basically. Absolutely. So what were some yeah. of the comments that you saw your boyfriend was making or defending? I mean, this could be pretty jarring for sure if you didn't know that he believed any of this. Yeah, I mean, like he was contributing to them daily and like they were giving each other advice on like how to be alpha males and 
like they would all come together to troll anyone that they deemed like quote unquote too feminist. And like, I read a comment from my own boyfriend claiming that society had failed when women were allowed to vote. Whoa. Wow. From your own wow. boyfriend? Wow. Dang. Now, okay, so let me ask you this. I wonder if this is some kind of weird fantasy um, persona that he has put on online. Have you ever seen or felt any of this from him in your relationship? Well, that's the thing. Is like I don't understand because like in our relationship, he's sweet, he's generous, he's, he's like he's compassionate, and like it, it would be different if like he acted in any way similarly to the person that I saw making those comments, and it's just making me feel like these are two polar opposites. Maybe I'm wrong. Like maybe this isn't actually his account. But there's just too many specific details that, like, some of them that, like, trace back to arguments that we've had. And he's also posted in our city's subreddit. So it's like, it, it has to be him. So right? it, almo it almost feels like a secret life that you didn't know about or a secret persona. Yeah, Kat? Even if it's a fantasy, I think, you know, there's the person people are with you, but then you got to pay attention to the person who they are behind closed doors mm -hmm. as well. And that might not come out until later in your relationship or, you know, after you've been married. For me, and I would say the same thing to a dude if he found his girl who was a feminist, that's fine. And like, it's fine to care about men's rights and the effect society has on it. But if there was a woman who was bashing men all the time, like specifically on how to keep them down, mm. how to keep them oppressed, saying hateful things about them that they shouldn't have rights, I would be like, you need to get out of that relationship because when push comes to shove, that person is not going to fully respect you and have your back because you are the opposite gender. I think the confusing part for me here is even if you approach him about it, he's just going to deny it's him online, right? Unless you have concrete proof. Well, I, that's what I was thinking. But she's saying, if you're saying that you have pinpointed arguments that y'all have had that you would only specifically know, then that would put him in a position where he can't deny it. And in that case, if I felt like I had enough proof, I'm going to him immediately mm -hmm. and not wasting any more time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's a thin line between intuition and delusion. And I feel like because you you know this guy in real life and so if you feel like some of the things that he has said could possibly allude to this secret life that he's living I think you're probably on the right track but I would approach it with caution like maybe don't approach it with this account that I found is definitely you because that may be seen as delusional if you have no proof that it's actually him but maybe just mm -hmm. approach him with like this th random thread that you found just so happen to see on Reddit and see what his reaction is and I feel like that'll tell you everything you need to know so let me ask you this question so let's say this weekend you approach him and you do it in a delicate enough way where he's totally honest with you and he says yes that is sort of an embellished persona of me online but a lot of that I do believe does that end the relationship for you honestly like this is devastating um I don't know like on paper yes I don't I can't be with somebody like that mm -hmm. and also I have known this person since I was a kid mm. and I love him and this is really hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So then if you've known them since he was a kid and you truly love them, this may be an opportunity to connect and talk to him about it and get to the root of why he feels that way and see if you can turn him around or bring him back a little bit. I mean, I know sometimes, especially I'm very guilty of being like, be done with them, you know, cut him off. You can't be with someone mm -hmm. like that. But there is room for people to grow. I have changed so much in the past, like even decade on this show, when I look back at things I used to say. And it's also because I'm exposed to different viewpoints and different people's situations that have enlightened me to things that I never thought of before. So maybe you can be the catalyst for him realizing that he's going going down a path that is not healthy and not helpful. Or to keep this man, maybe you should just sacrifice every value you have and just start submitting to him. <laughs> and throw voting out the window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Completely change who you are for him. Uh, you need to have a conversation with him like this weekend. I mean, why waste time? This is going to bother. He's probably feeling there's something going on between the two of you guys also. He can't put his finger on it, but he probably senses it as well. Can I be weird? Have that conversation in public at a restaurant. Why? 
Yeah. Because if he's part of a men's rights group that's violent and talks about women losing rights, like I, I'm sure he wouldn't do this. This is an overabundance of caution. Mm. I would just have it in a public place so that you're not alone behind closed doors. Or do it at the restaurant I'm going to on Saturday because I'm going to need a little dinner and a show. (laughs) 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 If it's going to be not violent, if it's going to be wild and fun. Hey, Gloria, uh, reach back out to us on Monday. We all are pretty invested in this and we'd love to know how it's handled. Okay. Okay, I will. All right, good luck. The Bird Show.